Other news back here in Chicago, a tree older than the city itself is set to be cut down next week. It resides at Lincoln Park Zoo. The bur oak is believed to be 250 to 300 years old, and sadly, it is dying. Joining us live to talk about this unfortunate situation is Katrina Quint. She's the zoo's director of horticulture, and, you know, boy, if that tree could talk, yeah. Katrina. Um, it survived the Great Chicago Fire of 1871, which stopped just north of Fullerton Avenue. So can you talk about maybe any efforts Efforts that were put into place to save this piece of Chicago history. Sure, absolutely. So, about uh, a year and a half ago, we did a process called root invigoration, and this is where you take uh, an air spade, which is similar to a power washer, but it blows air instead of water, and this will reduce the compaction of the tree. So we. Um, blew the air into the soil, which then loosened the soil, and then we added back compost um, and did some biochar and mixed it all back into that soil in order to allow um, more air into the soil, more better pore space, allow the tree to take up the proper nutrients that it could have been missing. But our efforts were not, mm -hmm. um, did not pan out the way we had hoped, and the tree did decline and is now no longer living. Mm. Now, is this on track for, for the lifespan of a typical bur oak? You, you, you mentioned during the break you think this thing is around 250, 250 perhaps years old. Yeah, so trees, bur oak trees can really live up to 400 years old, but that's in, in a different setting. This mm. tree is in an urban setting, which has a whole bunch of diff different factors than if the tree were, say, in a natural savanna setting. So this, this tree really has reached um, its, its full potential here at Lincoln Park Zoo. And we understand that zoo staff have taken cuttings from the tree. What is the plan for the spot where that tree stands? We currently are going to leave a portion of the stump um, intact because we're working with Illinois State Archaeological Survey um, to, to, they're going to be doing some studies um, with the Cook County Forest Preserve on climate. Um, and then also the Morton Arboretum is going to be counting the rings of the tree so we get an actual age of the tree once it, it has been felled. Um, and then over time, we're going to come up with a plan in that space um, for a potentially another tree, but we will continue to um, use the propagations in the next few years um, at the zoo to be planted. Great plan there, and definitely keep us posted on what the Morton Arboretum finds. We'd love to know just how mm -hmm. old that thing was. We understand on Friday to Mark Arbor Day, the zoo has some activities planned. Katrina, can you tell us about those? Yeah, absolutely. So on Friday, there will be a table set up near this tree for um, guests to write thank you letters and to do some um, tree ring counting of pieces of this tree that we have already snipped. And then also you can uh, take a tree map and go around the zoo and see other oak trees that we have on grounds here. Uh, we do have our burritum tours also happening, but they are both sold out right now. We're looking at possibly adding more of those as well. All right, Katrina Quint, thanks so much. We appreciate all of the information you've provided.